How do you identify who is telling a story? I started this story, A Dog's Tale, and then I wondered, who is telling this story? In this lesson, you will learn how to identify who is telling a story by asking, who is telling the story and how do I know? First, let's review. A narrator is the person who is telling you the story. When a story is written in first person, that means that the main character will tell you his or her story. When a story is written in third person, that means that the story is told by an outside narrator or someone who is not in the story. Let's look at the type of language you will see. If the story is in first person, the main character will use I or me to tell you his or her story. Here is an example. You can see that the main character used the word I to tell you his story. Third person language is different. If the story is written in third person, a narrator will tell you the story using he or she to refer to the main character. Here is an example where you see the narrators using the word Tom to describe the character and the words he. All right. We just started this passage called A Dog's Tale and I paused after beginning this new passage or story. I had to stop. Next, I asked myself a question. Who is telling the story and how do I know? Before I can continue reading, I need to figure this out. Let me take a look. Okay, well, I've got this question in my mind. Now I'm going to look at how the author describes the characters. What type of language is the author using? Well, I see it says, my father was a St. Bernard. The mother was a Collie. I see that it says, I was sold. All right, this is giving me an idea. I see the words I and it's saying that my father was a St. Bernard. Well, hmm, the mother was also a Collie. I know that first I see that this language is using I and that gives me the idea that this was in the first person. I know that that's how the author will use the language when it's written in the first person. So this is from the main character's perspective. Now, I also see that the St. Bernard and Collie description is interesting because a St. Bernard is a dog and so is a Collie and this character is talking about being sold which makes me think that a dog is telling the story. So I think that this story is being told to me from a dog's perspective. Alright, I've highlighted those those things that gave me those ideas so now I'm going to describe how do I know. Well. A dog is telling the story, and I know this because, like I said, the dog is has a St. Bernard for a father and a collie for a mother, and the dog also tells us about being sold. So I can point to what gave me this idea that the dog was telling the story. In this lesson, you learn to pause after beginning a new passage. Next, you can ask yourself, who is telling the story? Finally, you can ask yourself, how do I know? In this lesson, you have learned how to tell who is telling a story by pausing after beginning a passage and asking, who is telling the story? How do I know?